Hello, I'm Alan, and today we're celebrating another Alan. When I say today, I'm recording this on the 23rd of June, 2021. If you're not watching it on this day, pretend it is. So happy birthday, Alan Turing. It's his birthday today. He was born on the 23rd of June, 1912, and we're celebrating his birthday. And how do we celebrate that? We're going to go and visit somewhere in Manchester. You could sit down next to him and you could talk to him about birthday things but before we do five questions I want you to answer so I'm going to read through the questions and I want you to think and maybe write down and then pause and then we'll go so question number one um, I've just told you you can go and sit next to Alan Turing well where in Manchester could you go and do that question number one question number two when you're sat down next to him you will see there's a message written behind him and then there's another message but it's encrypted. I'm asking you, could you try and guess what the encrypted top secret message is? Question number three. Now, there's a tradition that when you erect a memorial to somebody that you bury something underneath. Well, there is something buried under this particular memorial to Alan Turing. What could it be? So I want you to guess what that could be and then write down your answer. Question number four. Now, when you see Alan, his memorial statue, you will see he's holding an object in his hand, which just happens to have a connection to the world's most valuable tech company. What's the connection? And then question number five, our final question. If you were sat down next to Alan, you'd notice he's gazing directly at something, something so brightly coloured what is the object that he is gazing at? And what does the object represent? So there's your five questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to suggest you maybe pause now for some time to think and write down your answers. Then we're going to go to this special place to visit Alan. We can wish him happy birthday. And then if you didn't know the answers, I'll go through those. So we're now going to go on our little tour. So we are now walking up Sackville Street as we head and we're going to cross over Whitworth Street. We're not too far from Manchester's Piccadilly train station. You might see that in a moment. We just need to cross the road carefully first of all. Lots of buses and trams. There it is, Piccadilly station down that way. And here we are, Whitworth Street. And we're going to go up these little steps. We're going to go into a nice, beautiful area called Sackville Gardens. Now, it's usually a fairly quiet park, apart from the traffic noise. And we're wandering over to the centre of the park. And I'll tell you what we're going to see when we get there. Okay. So, there's a lady that's possibly having her lunch. There's an object on the left, a brightly coloured thing. We'll talk about that in a few moments. But really, the main reason we've come here is to go and visit Alan Turing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this video a moment, round about here. Okay. So um, the thing that we're looking at, it's a memorial, it's a sculpture in memory of Alan Turing, a pioneer of modern computing. It just so happens that today, the 23rd of June, 2021, is the day that the Bank of England are issuing a brand new £50 note, which will have Alan Turing's image appearing on it. And it's believed that Alan Turing, his work and you know how he inspired others, helped end the Second World War a few years early by deciphering top secret codes that were being used by enemy forces. Now, this park that we're in, as I mentioned, we're, it's close to Piccadilly Gardens, Piccadilly Station, and it's not far from the university. Now, Alan Turing, he came to Manchester just a couple of years after the end of World War II in 1948, because in Manchester they just built what was known as the first stored program computer in the world. Now, 
what has he got in his hand? Well, that's an apple. And this apple represents the one that we believe that Turing himself laced it with cyanide and it was the last thing he ate. There's a plaque at his feet, celebrates all of his achievements and his contributions. And now I did mention that there's something written on the bench behind him. Not this panel, this panel um, so he probably needs to come and give it a bit of a clean. And let's go and look a little bit more closely. So I think I probably just need to pause when we get there. So we can see there's his first name, Alan. His middle name begins with an M. It's Matheson Turing. So let's have a look more closely. Alan Matheson Turing. And it's got the, the year he was born, 1912, and the year he died, 1954. But I'm going to pause again because there's something that appears below. And I've heard people say, oh is that enigma code now that is a good question is it enigma code well i do know that it's supposed to say founder of computer science now i don't know how much you know about enigma but enigma is known as a substitution cipher so when you when somebody used an enigma machine if you pressed a character on the keyboard like the letter a it would substitute or encode that as another letter and now one thing that the allies learned was enigma would never encipher a letter as itself so the letter a would never appear as the letter a it would always be one other letter in the alphabet hmm. where am i going with this well if you are there in the park and you go to this bench and you remember father of computer science and you try to match those letters up You'll see that somewhere in the middle, um, C O M P U T E R. Hang on, there shouldn't be a U there, and that's how we know it's not Enigma code. It was probably meant to be. There was probably some memo or something that somebody didn't read, and maybe it was a mistake. So, what else can I tell you? Okay, so there's a few things that you know. Now, I asked you some questions before and I need to kind of give you some help with the answers. So, there's the... So, it says founder of computer science. It sh probably should have been Enigma enciphered, but we will never know what happened. We've tried to find out, we don't know. So what's Alan gazing at? Let's have a look. So, there's something in front of Alan Turing, or at least his bronze statue. And we'll see it now. Oh, look how brightly coloured that is. So there was an art festival across the city of Manchester where lots of different bees were designed for different areas of Manchester. And this one is known as the Queen Bee. So you might notice all the hashtags like love is love, diversity. And so it's no accident that this Queen Bee and Alan Turing himself are within the Canal Street gay village of Manchester and look in the eyes of the Queen Bee you can see two different images of Alan Turing himself and you'll see other images and icons to do with LGBTQ plus uh, themes in Manchester so you get two memorials for the price of one if you visit Sackville Gardens now do you know what I think I didn't mention? So the the bronze statue of Alan, and you could sit on either side of him, and if you look to his left, you can see the university over there, and to his right is the gay village that I mentioned, Canal Street. Um, we didn't talk about what might be buried underneath the bench. So buried beneath the bench is the sculptor's own computer it's called an Amstrad computer and it's the particular one that was the first computer ever to be supplied with a mouse so um, oh, I think I did mention that a moment ago well I've you've, you've heard me mention it twice and then the other thing is we talked about the apple in his hand and there's a valuable tech company well the most valuable tech company Apple and it is just a happy coincidence that the two are both apples. Nothing else I didn't mention. So um, 
Oh, I told you that today is the 23rd of June 2021. That means it's 20 years since this statue was first revealed in 2001. And it was a barrister from Stockport who set up an Alan Turing Memorial Fund to raise the money for the statue. And it was a sculptor from the local area called Glyn Hughes who designed the statue. So maybe it was Glyn who made the mistake when the Enigma code. And it's his computer that appears underneath the statue. Um, so I think I have told you everything that you need to know. So um, maybe it's time to go and catch a train or go and explore some other things. Do you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll pause the video now and we'll go back through the questions and see if you got the answers. So from the top, question number one, I asked where in Manchester? Well, you could just say Sackville Gardens or you could say on a bench in the centre of Sackville Gardens. It's all about how precise you want to be. Question number two, I asked what is the encrypted message? That's a really tough question. So some people say, oh, it's an enigma thing. Well, it could be, except we know it's not because the U should have been a different letter than the U, any other letter than a U, but it was a U and oh, you, did you not get the mem? Oh, you didn't. Oh, never mind. But it says founder of computer science, or at least it's supposed to. We don't really know. It's a bit of an enigma itself. Question number three, I asked, what is buried? No, Alan Turing's body is not buried underneath that that wouldn't have worked mm, yeah it's a computer it's the sculptor or the artist who designed the statue it's his amstrad computer with a mouse it probably doesn't work very much now being underground 20 years question number four i asked what connects the objects in alan's hand to the world's most valuable tech company well the only thing that connects them is they're both apples or named apple and when steve jobs was asked Oh, did you name the compute the company Apple and have the logo design all because of that? He said, do you know, I wished we had. It would have been marvellous, but it was just a coincidence. And I don't know if you know this, but the original Apple logo also used to have rainbow colours. And people say, oh, is that all to do with Pride and LGBT? No, it's not. That was just another coincidence. Because in the 1970s, when Apple Computers was founded, rainbow colours hippie movement, all that kind of stuff was just very, very fashionable. And then the last thing I asked, question number five, what brightly painted object is Alan gazing at? Well, it's the queen bee. There are other bees around Manchester. You can see them in different parks and sit bits of the city. But the queen bee, which represents pride in Manchester, it's right at the corner of the gay village. So there we are, five questions. We forgot to sing happy birthday to Alan Turing. We're going to have to go back and do that all over again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Well, and unless, of course, it's your birthday today or any other day. Thank you very much. Maybe come back and we'll go and visit some other aspects of computing history in Manchester. Bye.